Hey, this is Andy, AR Engineering. We're going to talk a little bit more about the 632 crate engine. Uh, today we'll talk about the intake manifold we're going to use on this engine. This is a Hogan billet intake. If we zoom in here a little bit, you can see that the runners have been machined uh, out of billet. And the whole intake manifold, the tops and the bottom as well as the runners are all machined from uh, large pieces of billet aluminum and then bolted together. So individual runners out of a common box or a box plenum, different, different terminology for these intakes. This one uses a large throttle body up front. In this case, it's a 103 millimeter MSD Atomic. Uses General Motors throttle position sensor and IAC. 103 millimeters, just a hair over four inches. So that should feed a thousand horsepower 632 inch motor. And then this uses the same injectors that came with the 632 motor. They've just been moved over to this. There's some interesting facts about these injectors that people need to know. If you have one of these 632 motors and you need new injectors, there's nothing in the instruction manual about the injectors, but what you'll find is if you pull them out, there's a Bosch part number on them that will cross-reference over to an LS3 engine, typically a Corvette or Camaro engine. But there are 35, there's 37 pound injectors uh, according to the parts book. Well, eight 35 pound injectors is not enough to feed a thousand horsepower. So there's something else going on. And if you dig deeper, what you'll find is that these injectors have been reworked by FAST and they, in, they turn them into an 85 pound injector. Plus they increase the rail pressure from something in the 40s to 70 PSI. So you have to be super careful about this because if you just go and buy an injector off the part number that's on the injector, you'll end up burning down the motor because it, those injectors, LS3 injectors, will not flow enough fuel for this engine. One other thing that's interesting is the sensor on the back here is called a T-MAP sensor. It's not very common in EFI motors, especially aftermarket EFI systems, but it's a clever solution. This T-MAP sensor is a four pin sensor. So it measures temperature in the manifold as well as uh, MAP, as well as manifold pressure. And this is a $15 sensor. Here's the part number. $15 sensor. It's a General Motors sensor used on 3 liter diesel engines. So it's a very inexpensive solution that solves two problems. The only issue is, is that a Holley harness doesn't hook up to a T-MAP sensor. So you need to find the correct connector and then wire in the temperature sense line with your map sense line and you end up with a four wire connector two sense lines and power and ground but if you can manage that it's a much less expensive solution than what holly sells you for map sensors and temperature sensors plus you only need one hole in the intake so there we have it. That's the Hogan intake. We've got it all dressed up. It's ready to go on the engine. And we'll see how uh, she runs on the dyno here in a few weeks. Thanks.